Hey guys, it's Gershon here with GP Snakes. I'm here cutting the last clutch of 2017. The pairing was a clown head albino to my head albino girl that's pos head clown. So I'm trying to see if she proved out. Last year she gave me two albinos and one normal. So this is second year trying to prove her out. And she laid five um eggs not she laid two eggs and three slugs i was reading it off i messed up but she laid three slugs and two eggs this year which i thought she was gonna lay more she kind of she didn't slug out so that's positive but yeah we're on day 55 and you can see the eggs are starting to decay in so we're gonna cut these bad boys and see what we got inside Try to make sure I'm still on camera. I'm looking pretty dark in here. Uh, yeah, that's a normal. I was hoping at least the first one would be a clown. Just right now trying to prove her out. To be clown. Sorry, I was out of frame. I'm just trying to prove her out to be a clown, which would be nice. But yeah, as you can see, we got a normal in there. Nice busy pattern, so that's cool. So that normal is a hundred percent het uh, clown, sixty six percent pos het albino. And let's check out this last egg. Some juice coming out, and that one's albino. I don't think I don't think that's an albino clown. I think it would be a, a lot brighter. So it looks like just an albino to me. It's an awful big baby though. Oh, it's still got some yolk too, you can see. But yeah, that looks like it's just an albino. A very white, got a lot more white than orange on her. Or he. Hopefully that's focusing. I gotta start looking through the camera instead of trying to look over the camera. But yeah, looks like just a regular albino. So this one's gonna be albino, 100% head clown. Unless it is an albino clown, but I'm not seeing any signs. I can't see his head. So we're gonna have to wait till that one comes out. So, so far it looks like we got a 100% head clown. 66% het albino, and then an albino 100% het clown here. So, tune back, I'll show you guys, I'll show you these guys out of the eggs. Alright guys, here they are out of the egg, the last clutch of 2017. Once again, the parent was my clown head albino male to my 100% um, head albino female, 50% pos head clown female. So I didn't get any clowns in this clutch, 
which <laughs> sucks, but I only had two eggs. But out of two eggs, pretty good odds. I got this 100% head clown, 66% head albino. I'm not sure of the sex yet. Um, I'll do the sex. Come on, focus. I'll get the sex when um, these guys go to their first shed. Once they go to their first shed, I'll sex them. But this guy has very bright orange. Very bright orange. I don't know if that's an indication that um, this one might be head albino but it's got a very busy kind of pattern too like the other one i've hatched out of this um pairing the other normal in it head clown normal wasn't as busy busy pattern as this guy or this this little one as you can see i had to um cut their umbilical cords because they stop absorbing their yolk. So I cut their umbilical cords just to make sure I had a snake that stopped absorbing its yolk and his umbilical cord stayed on. And that one passed away in the egg. So I was just playing it safe. This, this one, I think this one, I cut her or his umbilical cord um, two days ago. And it's already sucked it up. So I think it wasn't soaking up that umbilical cord for a while. But look at this. These oranges and these patterns. I'm loving these patterns. Like I'm real tempted to hold hold this one back. Depending on if it's a female. I'm real tempted to hold this guy. This little one back. Because it's just. It's got a nice pattern. It's kind of. A reduced pattern and these oranges are just beautiful these dorsal stripes are just beautiful they're just beautiful but yeah this is the last clutch of the season so we got a uh, head clown 100% head clown 66% Head albino, and then we got a albino 100% head clown. I'm not sure on sex, I'll find that out after they shed. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about this clutch. Most likely, both of these will be for sale. So if you're interested, once I find out the sex, um, you always hit me up at GP Snakes at uh, Google Mail or hit me up on YouTube. Or hit me up on my Instagram, GP Snakes. But thanks for watching. Oh, I think I'm going to start a... It's not going to be weekly. Maybe a monthly series called Grow Out. It's going to be all my snakes that I'm holding back and growing out. Just pictures of the pictures and little videos of them eating stuff. Just showing their progress. So let me know if that might be interested in for you guys to watch. But um, thanks for checking out my channel. Um, thanks for the support. Always comment down below, like, and subscribe um, for future videos. And get let's get ready for the 2018 breeding season. I got a couple girls um, putting on size. I got one girl that stopped eating. She's back on food. I'm very excited about that. But hope everybody's season is starting to get kicked off. I'm seeing a lot of locks with a couple people, so that's real cool to see. But until next time, see you later, guys.